Good day. I present to you the helical hydraulic pump. We are going to be discussing how this pump can be used as an effective cleanup solution to the current BP oil spill. A helical hydraulic pump, the pump existing since the Middle Ages, can probably now be introduced to do some very important work efficiently and without a doubt inexpensively. It's simply helical or spiral tubing, when turned, can raise water at 100% efficiency. The present oil spill and the many past oil spills covered up could be recuperated or could be easily removed from the water with this pump. The pump is simple, the most sophisticated parts being two simple sealed rollers or ball bearings and the rest is all simple mechanics. Making the recuperation of the floating oils or any other floating debris much more easier, less expensive, not as messy, and safer for those who are hired for the cleanup job. Now we're going to look at three different demonstration models all varying in size. Please take note that these three models are only to prove the effectiveness of this pumping system. In many cases, it is not believed to be possible for such a simple system to be so effective. Okay, we're going to start our demonstration by filling our demonstration model with water. Now that it's filled up, we're going to start priming the pump. As you can see, as we spin the handle there, the helical structure is also spinning around. Now water is going into this empty tubing and coming out at the empty chamber on the side. You're going to see that soon. There you can see on the left. Okay, now that that's enough priming, we're going to insert a high capacity power tool and you're going to see the true potential of this pump. And we're going to show you how fast water could be pumped with this pump. That's amazing, isn't it? In about 20 seconds, the thing is full, and this is a small model. Imagine that on a full scale. Now we're going to fill our demonstration model with some simulated oil to see how this would apply to the BP oil spill. Now we're pouring it in there. Now you might not be able to see the oil now because the model's colored black, but you will see it in this chamber in a few moments. So we're inserting our power tool. It's spinning around. Now we're going to manually cover the valve with our hand because, um, well, this is only a demonstration model and it can't be perfect. Now, look how much oil is filling in there. You can see it, it's black, and since it has a lower density in the water, it's floating above. Now, with our hand, just our hand, we're going to isolate this oil from the water. This is all being accomplished, just reminding you, this is all being accomplished by simple, yet effective, empty tubing. Okay, we're almost done there. Now, it's been about a minute. Just think about that. A minute. Now, there's still one problem that our first pump model didn't get to oversee. And that's debris. Because in the ocean during an oil spill, there is debris. So, to simulate our debris, we're going to be putting molasses, which will represent the oil, onto some dollar store goods we found, which is popcorn, marshmallows, and styrofoam balls. And this will simulate the debris effectively. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna mix it now. Let's see, we're gonna mix it. Okay. That's enough mixing. Now we're gonna pour our debris into our second pump model. Now, as you can see, it's a bit bigger than the first, and that's because this time it's going to be scooping up much larger objects. Now, as you're going to see, 
The model isn't completely perfect, but it gets a demonstration job done. And that's what we think is important, to prove our points. So now we're going to turn the lever there. As you can see, it's going to scoop up some debris. Now, um, it's hard to get a perfect camera angle of all the side scooping, but as you can see, it is scooping up debris. Now, as you see, as we spin the lever, the chamber, which is right over here, is going to fill up with water, oil, and debris. Three separate things, and they're all separated. And clear water is coming out of here. The water of the ocean. Now, as you can see here, the water, the oil, and the debris are all separated. And they're all entering this chamber, and out is coming the ocean water and returning to the ocean while the debris and the oil stay in there. Now as you can see it's filling up um, by bursts. And as you can see as we spin the handle it continues to fill out. And all this is being achieved once again by simple tubing. Now, as you can see, it would take a long time for this oil to fill up this chamber. So, instead of keep on going, we're going to end it right here. Because we believed we did what we had to do. We proved a point. This may be the best solution for oil recuperation from lakes, or rivers, or oceans. If you care about the oil spill, don't ignore this solution.